Trying. Written by Kobe Yamada. Illustrated by Elise Hurst. How will you know what's possible if you don't try? This is a story for anyone at any age who has ever felt like a beginner or had doubts or worried that they weren't good enough. It's a story for those who have experienced the pain of trying something new and not having it turn out as they hoped. So, in many ways, it's a story for every one of us because at some point in our lives, we all will fail. Failure can be disappointing and even heartbreaking, but the story doesn't end there because failure has so much to offer. It's a necessary step to learning, to growing, to getting better. It can show us how badly we want something and how hard we are willing to work to get it. It challenges us to be brave, to take heart, and to try again. And yes, there will be times when you'll question yourself. You may want to give up, but if you believe, if you practice and press on, you can do amazing things. How do you do that? I didn't realize I had said it out loud. But the sculptor looked over and replied, You simply do it. Oh no, I could never do that. How do you know? He asked. I just know. Confused, I walked away. He must be joking, I thought. But as I left, I couldn't help wondering what it would be like to create something so incredible. When I returned, the sculptor looked over at me and asked, How is your sculpture coming along? I, I'm just here to watch. The best way to give your talents an opportunity is to try, he responded. I'd rather just watch. I can't mess things up if I just watch. Ah, yes, he nodded. If you do nothing, it feels safe, but everything stays the same. If you do nothing, there's less to experience, less to love, and less to learn. The fear of failing is the scariest part, and it stops most people from starting. The only way to get where you want to go is to take a step in that direction. And the best way to do that is just to begin. It was all I could think about. Even as I slept, I dreamt of creating beautiful things. I was excited to get started, but as I was working, I realized that something was wrong. With every strike, I felt a little more deflated. With every blow, my disappointment grew. This was not turning out the way I had imagined. Why did I think I could do it? Why had I let myself care about this so much? The next time I saw the sculptor, he asked about my work. I told him it was no good and that I had quit. Why would you do that? He asked. Because it feels awful to want something so badly and then just be disappointed. Yes, the sculptor replied. Disappointment hurts, but failure is temporary and in many ways necessary. It shows us how something can't be done, which means we are a little closer to finding out how it can. When you first tried to walk, you fell, but you picked yourself right back up and tried again. 
You were willing to fail over and over and over, and that is why you succeeded. How do I know this? You are standing in front of me now. I had tried, and I had failed. Now he was asking me to try again? What good would that do? I had already proven I couldn't do it. But if I was honest, I wanted to believe I could. So, even though I worried that I wasn't good enough, I decided to try again. I worked and worked, and then worked some more. And while I could see it was a little better, it still wasn't at all what I wanted it to be. I stormed up to the sculptor. See, I told you I wasn't any good, and this proves it. Are you happy now? Yes, he replied. I'm happy. It is good to see you sculpting. But, but it's terrible. I don't even know what I'm making anymore. You're making progress, he explained. I see talents emerging. I see risk being taken. I see courage. I see caring. I see perseverance. Yes. I see much progress, indeed, and I hope you will keep trying. I tried again, and again, and again. As I stepped back and looked at my work, I had to admit, I wished I was better. I went to talk to the sculptor, and he asked me to go for a walk with him. He said, I know it can be hard when things don't turn out as you had hoped, but be proud of your failures. I know I am, every one of them. I can't imagine you ever failing. He laughed more times than I can count. But each time you fail, you get a little smarter, a little braver, and a little stronger. The truth is, we are all failures. The dreamers, the doers, the creators. Being a failure means you love something. You cared. It means you stepped forward and didn't hold back. It means you tried. That is why I brought you here. He gestured to the statues around him. These are my friends. These are my failures. And I'm grateful for every one of them because they helped me become who I am today. I will tell you a secret, the sculptor confided. I am now much closer to the end of my life than the beginning, and time passes. Whether we have the courage to do something good and worthwhile, or we don't. It's been years since he's been gone. I will always treasure the time I spent with him, and I will never forget our conversations or what he taught me. When we make it safe to fail, we make it safe to succeed. How do I do that? Hey guys, it's Storytime with Lorelai again. Don't forget to click like if you like this video and share this book with all your friends simply by clicking the share button. Please hit subscribe to see more of my book videos. Thanks everyone. See you next time.